All right, so the guy that posted this just wouldn't give this girl a ride. <laughs> Real funny. You think you can get away with leaving a pretty girl like me out here without a ride? This is bullshit. Papa, you'll regret this. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the r slash of the nice girls, and I am your guide, Q, and we will be looking at some of the most kind human beings on the planet that would never harm a fly in a million years. Maria Bamford is the funniest stand-up comedian of all time. Dispute me in the comments if you disagree. Let's hop into this cringe. This is a classic post. In that beginning part, there were about 30 or 40 more babes and babies, but when I stitched it together, it didn't register. We weren't even dating, and I explicitly said that I didn't want to date her, but she kept insisting. Babe! 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 Babe, 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 babe! What? I don't think I can deal with this. I'm a human being too, you know, and I have things to do. I'm sorry. Please, let's stay together. But I was asking if we can call tonight. Damn, I'm pissed. Babe, can we call? Yes. No. Why? It's WrestleMania. Can we text? I miss you, baby. Dude, you're pissing me off. We are done. Sick of your stupid excuses and shit. Don't ever talk to me again. I love his responses, like, can we call? Yes, no. That's, that's, that's kind of back and forth. That's a little bit tough for her. And then just, it's WrestleMania. It's WrestleMania. It's the biggest wrestling event of the year. I can totally understand why this guy would do that. But this chick is going to resent the WWE and WrestleMania for the rest of her life. She's not going to forget that shit. Oh, right. We looked at this picture on stream a couple nights ago over on Twitch, but I just wanted to look into it a little bit deeper. If you scroll down a little bit, it says, if you're reading this, you are too close. I have a girlfriend. And then somebody comments down below, that look knowing that his only way out is death. I mean, you can see it on this man's face. He is in physical pain at this moment. The girlfriend is very smart, though. She picks an attractive picture on the shirt to make sure that everybody knows that he has an attractive girlfriend, but she also picks a a picture that makes her look slightly unstable so that they know that he is not to be fucked with whatsoever. So good on you, girl. You're doing a good job of whatever this is. I just don't know if it's a good idea for you to be doing whatever this is. Scary stuff here. <laughs> Just attempted to set my ex's house on fire, but the big bush in his front yard only caught fire and ended up running away like a pussy LMAO. So you tried to commit arson. It's not a crime since the fire didn't spread though? But you went in with the intention of his whole house going up in flames. That's a crime, and you still ruined part of the property if a bush caught fire. The police will get involved. <laughs> really shouldn't have posted this on Facebook. The comfort level is insane on this one. Oh my god, I can't believe that she actually thought that people were gonna, like, join in on her fun and have a good time with her trying to commit arson on her ex-boyfriend. I'm a lady, but when I'm mad, I'm an evil, sadistic, demon-spawned bitch from hell that'll make you wish you were never born. But when I'm happy, I bake cookies and shit. Those better be the most delicious cookies of all time that I can eat every single time that you're freaking out at me and threatening to kill me and threatening to kill yourself because it's gonna be a long relationship. FB slash Southern Girls Unleashed. Yay, more arson jokes. Instead of calling me a snack, call me a candle, because I'm warm and I smell good and I might burn your house down if you forget about me for too long. <laughs> I've got anger issues, I get irritated fast as fuck, and can catch an attitude in three seconds. But I'm a sweetheart for real. Yeah, don't trust the things that I do, trust the things that I say. My ex sent death threats to me on my birthday. This is what happened afterwards. Hey, been a while. Hi. You know, writing that on my timeline makes you seem butthurt. I'm trying to enjoy my special day. So please, if you're going to be negative, fuck off. Can you not take a joke? I can, but me and my family don't appreciate the wishes of death. Shame. I'm at a festival right now. I don't have time for you being a pussy. Okay, cool. Have a good time. I'm celebrating my birthday right now. I don't have time for you being an inconsiderate twat. LMAO, I'm inconsiderate? Honestly, end your life, bro. You're boring. Happy B-Day, though. You just proved my point, telling me to kill myself, knowing full well that we are still recovering from my father's death. Have fun being featured on r slash nice girls. Buh bye bye 
I, I don't even understand what the fuck is going on in this moment here. She's like, I'm at a festival right now. I don't have time for you being a pussy, but you have time to post on his Facebook wall on his birthday death threats when his entire family is still recovering from his father's death. That's a great job. That's a really good thing to do. Oh, yeah, and then end, tell him to tell him to end his life on top of that. Oh, I know that your family is recovering from the loss of your father, but they could use one less fucking person in the family, and that's you. You should fucking die. I don't know what, like, have a good time at your fucking festival. Clearly it's impossible for you to actually have fun in your life without trying to ruin somebody else's day. Go away. Okay, just for full transparency, I've tried reading through this multiple times, and it's horribly written on the girl's part, but here's some background. This woman cheated on this guy, and now she's trying to get him back in the nice, girliest way possible. Do I know you? Mm, it's me, Jay. Robin. Delete this number and leave me alone. No, Jay, please. Please, I miss you so much. I don't know what to do anymore. I need you. Jay, please, you made me so happy, and I know I took you for granted, but I won't do it again, Jay. I promise. I didn't know how much you really affected me until now. I just made a mistake, Jay. I really didn't mean to hurt you at all. I wasn't thinking. He just knew what to say and got me thinking about everything. Me and him been through. I just felt that it was right. Jay, please, I don't want him. He used me and left me alone again and just come back to me, Jay. I promise we can be what we used to be before. So what I'm hearing from this so far is that this girl left this guy or just cheated on this guy in general, and then when the guy that she cheated on him with left her, she has come crawling back now. So she's like, you know how I left you? Well, this guy left me, and now I really need you. <laughs> we can do anything you want. Just call me at least so we can talk. Please, Jay. I'm in a relationship, and even if I wasn't, I'd still say no. I'm deleting this number and blocking you. What does she have that I don't, LMAO? She probably not even cute, LMAO. I don't even miss you. I was just joking with my actual boyfriend to get your reaction, dumbass. You really think I'd beg for your ass? You're probably not even worth that, LMAO. Get off my phone, little boy. You're so fucking pathetic, like I'd never beg anybody to be with me, especially you, like who the fuck do you think you are? LMAO, fucking idiot. Who is the bitch anyway, like what does she do that's better than me? LMAO, she's probably fucking ugly, I'm disgusted that you can't do better than me, so you had to downgrade LMAO. You a fucking idiot, me and my girls laughing cause you really... All right, the horrible writtenness continues. Here we go. You thought I wanted you, LMAO, fucking idiot. Stop reading my messages if you ain't gonna say shit, LOL. Are you feeling hurt, sweetie? LMAO, weak ass, you're probably crying. So sad, LOL. I'm still laughing. You thought I wanted you back. I'm not, but okay, LOL. Jay, no, that was my friend. Sorry, she took my phone while I was napping. Jay, 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 please. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of it. I just got mad. Like, I need you, Jay. You make me such a better person. And you brought me out of a rough time. I need you. If you don't accept, then I'll just leave you alone and kill myself. I'm sorry, Jay. I'll go. If you don't want me, just say so. If not, I'll go away forever. No one loves me like you did, Jay. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, very intense, very intense nice girl post here, but it's also one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. The full, multiple, I think, full nice girl 360s where she would go from being apologetic and sad to angry at him, back to apologetic and sad, back to angry, back to apologetic and sad. Absolutely gorgeous. And then two oops didn't mean tos in here. One where she was joking with her actual boyfriend to get a reaction out of him, and then the second one she's like, Oh, my friend took my phone while I was napping and sent all of these insane text messages. Like, what fucking friend is gonna do that? She fucked up. She is not a stable person. I'm sorry that you had to deal with this, Jay, but thank you very much for sharing with us. 
Hey, if you want to come over and hang out on Twitch, that's where I stream right now. I actually don't have the ability to stream on YouTube at the current moment. If you want to find me on Twitch, it's at your Q, as in the Q that belongs to you guys. That's me. And uh, yeah, if you want an announcements of when I will be streaming, you can find them on Twitter at Q Star Videos. A little bit confusing. Lots of ats here. But I will be streaming at like 8.30 Eastern Standard Time tonight. So if you want to show up to that, ask me a couple questions. I'll definitely be down to answer them. That's my favorite thing about streaming streaming is just being able to have like a live interaction with you guys like I don't know it's really cool I've been enjoying it a ton so come over there come hang out there will also be affiliate links in the description down below if you want some cheap headphones or if you want some deodorant to not smell like a neck beard so with all that shit said skate on rollerbladers to the best of your abilities every single day that you can manage it drink some more water it's going to make you feel more fulfilled as a human being and it's going to increase your performance in work your performance in bed your performance with with all your friends and stuff they're going to think you're cool and things like that. So do that. I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great, fantastic, wonderful day.